Luna 1 was launched on January 2nd, 1959 at 4.41pm UTC from Launch Site 1 at Baikonur Cosmodrome. The rocket that launched it was the Luna 8K72, a modified R7 rocket similar to the one that launched the Sputnik satellites, except that it had an upper stage to complete Earth orbit and make the transfer to the Moon. The mission for Luna 1 then was to impact the Moon, crashing into it at full speed. Instead, an accidental overburn of the upper stage left Luna 1 with a flyby of the Moon at a periapsis of 5,995 kilometers on January 4th, 1959. Luna 1 was the first spacecraft to enter the Moon's sphere of influence and, because it did not impact, the first spacecraft to leave Earth's sphere of influence and orbit the Sun. The probe had a mass of 361 kilograms, which included radio equipment that operated well past the Moon's orbit, exceeding a range of half a million kilometers. It also had a magnetometer, two counters for ionizing radiation, and a micrometeorite detector. Thanks to these instruments, it was the first probe to measure the solar wind. It also showed that the Moon either had no magnetic field or a weak field. It turns out that the Moon has a weak magnetic field that was below the precision of Luna 1's instruments. Almost halfway to the Moon, Luna 1 also released a cloud of 1 kilogram of sodium gas to make it easier to image as well as to test the behavior of gas in space. Luna 1 has an orbit around the Sun with a periapsis of 0.9766 astronomical units and an apoapsis of 1.315 astronomical units with a period of 450 days. Essentially the first artificial planet, it was renamed Mekta, which means dream in Russian. With that, thank you for watching this mission profile of Luna 1.